show, and it's thought that that is the hallmark of the November 17 guerrilla group. That's the news at 10 tonight. Good night. Central Sports Special has an exclusive interview with Brian Clough later, along with action from the Notts County versus Port Vale and Swindon Town versus Oldham Athletics. That's at 11.30. Yeah, and have a look at this tech thing. It's, uh, well, it's bigger than we thought. What is it? Well, I don't know, but it's coming through now. They're all over the country, and they're top businessmen. Apparently, the government's well involved. Who are they, anyway? That's the chief executive of Rolls-Royce Motor Cars. And this one's a university vice-chancellor. Who's he? He's the uh, Eurotunnel fella. Oh, what's the connection? Look at this blow-up. TEC. But what does it mean? In the world of Whirlpool, there's a new fridge freezer that prolongs the life of fresh food. Circulating cold, fresh air, it creates four perfect temperature zones. One for freezing, one for meat and fish, another for salad, another for dairy produce. And neither fridge nor freezer ever need defrosting. The Whirlpool Fridge Freezer, with fresh air. Together, Philips and Whirlpool bring quality to life. Clever little species, those humans, aren't they? No oh, man, they make me feel itchy. <laughs> Yeah, but they're always developing, evolving new bits. Look at that one. He's even got fingers. Not now he hasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Only the smart species get cat with his fingers. A beautiful princess <laughs> searched for a prince. Me? But he wanted to move into my apartment. So he brought her gifts. So Played her music. Isn't it my daughter? And offered her his big, big, big heart. I do. So do I. Green card. At a cinema near you from Friday. Six assorted tarts. An organic pomegranate. Chocolate teddy. Tea strainer. Nats. Sausages. Something else. Something else. Got the nuts. Got the chocolate daddy. Book of stamps. You can now buy books of stamps at thousands of different places. Stick one on your shopping list. Didn't she do well? Whirlpool are so sure of their quality that just 15 pounds covers spare parts for 10 long years. Whirlpool bring quality to life. Stick it on the back page, okay? Frank, oh. I've cracked it. <laughs> first week, first scoop. Hey, Julie. This network is everywhere. Top employers, educationists. And the government. Tech, it's a code name. For training and enterprise councils. Training and enterprise councils? Yeah, they're local. They help companies of all sizes with their training and business needs. But, but how... First rule of journalism. Read the papers, eh, Julie? You can't beat the Canary Islands for colour, scenery and sunshine. But with air tours, the real beauty is the price. With superb holidays available from only £229. Get the full picture. Pick up a brochure from your APTA travel agent now. more generally mild and generally cloudy weather to come for most parts of the country. If we have a look at the wind flow, we can see why. Rather complex area of low pressure out to the west, rather slow moving. And this run of southerly winds coming up from the Mediterranean, just bringing bands of cloud and outbreaks of rain, particularly up the western side of the country. Now, there's one such band running through the Irish Sea at present, and through night tonight, it'll come a little bit towards Northern Ireland for a while, and then go back towards western parts of England and Wales for a while, and similarly over Scotland. But to the central and eastern parts of England, most places dry, some mist and fog patches, but the very extensive fog we've had on the east coast 
should be gradually clearing away. A very, very mild night temperatures, no lower than about 08 to 10 degrees Celsius, the upper 40s to 50 Fahrenheit. Tomorrow then we still have that band of rain through the Irish Sea to the east of it, though I think you'll find once the fog goes away getting a bit brighter than we've seen today. And as we go through the day you'll find somewhat brighter weather coming back into western parts of Scotland and probably Northern Ireland around the middle of the day. At the same time the more persistent rain gets back into western parts of England and Wales. Now very, very mild day again. Temperatures up to around 12 to 15 degrees Celsius. That's 54 up to 59 degrees Fahrenheit with generally quite winds. That's it from me. Good night. Hello, good evening. Now the news from Central. A young soldier from the Staffordshire Regiment killed in the final days of the Gulf War was buried today with full military honours. Private Karl Malt was 22. He died almost a year to the day he joined the army. Hundreds of local people attended the funeral to pay their last respects. Under a darkening sky, members of the Staffordshire Regiment carried the coffin of their dead colleague, Private Karl Malt. Killed on February the 26th in the closing days of the war during a night assault on Iraqi positions. The 12th century church of St George and St Mary's in the small Derbyshire village of Church Gresley was packed. Carl's parents, John and Marjorie, his two brothers and sister, were joined by members of his regiment and close friends. The local vicar prayed that Carl's death would not be in vain. Carl was one of a band of brave and disciplined men that went to do a job in a country thousands of miles away. And they did that job magnificently. At the graveside, the customary tributes were paid. A student from Shropshire who was found with guns and ammunition in his car claimed today he was trying to get rid of them. Kevin O'Donnell told a court at the Old Bailey in London that they'd been put into his car without his knowledge. 20-year-old Kevin O'Donnell was stopped by police in London in May last year. They found two Kalashnikov rifles and ammunition in his Cortina car. He denies possessing the rifles with intent to endanger life and claims his cousin had lent the car to the IRA without his knowledge. He wanted to take the car back to his college in Shropshire. When arrested, O'Donnell claims he was on his way to dump the guns with the help of a cousin. In the dock for the second day, O'Donnell told the jury of his desperate and frantic attempts to get away from the police. He didn't want to be found in possession of the rifles. He said he'd been caught between the devil and the deep blue sea and had spent ten months of hell in Brixton prison. When police asked him to open the boot of the Cortina, he said, we'll all be blown to hell. There were no explosives in the boot, but O'Donnell couldn't be sure. He said during the chase he could have picked up one of the rifles, pointed it at the police and got away, but he never had any intention of doing so. The trial continues. Police hunting the killer of a woman taxi driver in Warwickshire say they're desperate to trace witnesses. They also want to find the knife used in the stabbing. Susan Wheeler was attacked outside her home in Earlswood early yesterday morning. 28-year-old Susan Wheeler died from a stab wound in her chest as she was about to set off to work driving her silver grey private taxi. It happened at 5.30 yesterday morning and her killer stabbed her outside the remote cottage in Earlswood where she lived with her 33-year-old husband, Peter. As she left the house, uh, she was attacked, stabbed, uh, and as a result of her injuries, died shortly afterwards at the house. You're also missing the murder weapon at this moment. That's a knife. We are looking for a knife that may be responsible for the murder. What can people do to help? Well, it's, the position itself is quite isolated, but obviously the people would have been in the vicinity, and if anybody uh, was travelling around Wayans Green Road at that extremely early time of the morning, uh, then we would be only too happy to hear from them. And 400 villagers in Staffordshire are to take fingerprint tests as detectives step up their hunt for the killer of taxi driver Stephen Johnson. 
The 25-year-old driver was murdered three days before Christmas. Men and women in the 16 to 40 age group who live in Mokok are being asked to provide prints. They'll be compared with fingerprints found in Mr Johnson's bloodstained taxi. Well, finally, a £2 million musical is to be premiered in Birmingham. Some Like It Hot stars Tommy Steele and opens at the Hippodrome in July. After 35 years on the stage, Tommy Steele has no intention of stopping now. Uh, do you want it again? <laughs> I've been doing much better. You... His £2 million production of the 1959 film classic Some Like It Hot promises to be one of the biggest shows in Birmingham for some time. It'll open for its review on July the 10th and run for five weeks before its London West End presentation and national tour. This show is bigger than Singing in the Rain, and that was a big show. This is bigger. But it's, but it's, a, big, it's a big story, so you've got to show it big. Is there anything you're going to have in mind? You've got, you've got a, a Midlands crowd here. Is there anything in mind when you, when you open up? Yeah, make them laugh, and the Midlands laugh better than anybody. With the antics of this veteran performer still as fresh as ever, there will definitely be a chuckle or two. That's it from us. Don't go away. Charlie is coming out with the weather. We're back tomorrow morning at 5 to 10. Hope you can join us then. Bye-bye. change on the weather front. It's going to be mostly cloudy tonight with mist about and fog patches over the hills and a few spots of drizzle coming over the Welsh borders. Exceptionally mild overnight. We're only getting as low as 9 Celsius. That's 48 Fahrenheit and that's going to further persuade the plant life that summer is just around the corner. For tomorrow, a bit of a misty start in most areas with foggy patches. A bit brighter though around Buckinghamshire and North Hants. For the afternoon, we do the splits, brightening up in the east with that sunshine but staying miserable in the west with a day of mist and drizzle there. But the mild the run continues. We're getting up to 14 Celsius tomorrow. That's 57 Fahrenheit. Don't miss the show, which has a little bit of everything. Friday nights on Central. It's sadistic, sir. It's absolutely oh, sadistic. I think he's a crook and a charlatan and a sham. Don't tell me to shut my mouth, pal. I'm telling you to shut your mouth. Well, to be my body. Central Weekend, Friday nights on Central. In just a moment on Central, we continue with Michael Caine and Sally Field in our movie premiere, Surrender. Why do polls show that the Duchess of York is one of the least favourite royals? Does Fergie really deserve the criticisms about her dress sense, her holidays, her workload? This week, the Daily Express prints extracts from a brilliant new biography that takes an inside look at this much-criticised royal. It's a portrait well worth looking into, and it's only in this week's Daily Express. You know, someone said it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. <laughs> I think it was a chihuahua. But when things get better... Morgan? Alaska. The documents and parcels worldwide mm -hmm. call DHL. They even go to Tallahassee last Mystery and Romance. Ancient Egypt and a new love. Why didn't you become an Egyptologist? My family had other plans for me. It can never be what I'd like it to be for us. Never. Leslie Ann Down stars in Sphinx. Saturday Enchantment at 5 past 11 on Central. Now on ITV, the conclusion of our comedy film, Surrender. <laughs>